Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidman.com and in this video, we will show you how to install the latest Android 14 onto your Pixel phone using the Android Flash tool. So as you might be aware, Google has just rolled out the latest Android OS build and with that there are quite a few noteworthy features. You could get a hold of all these features and under the hood changes from my guide. As of now, our main course of action is to show you the steps to install this Android 14 onto your Pixel phone right away. So regarding this, there exist four methods. Namely, ADB side load, Android flash tool, password command, and GSI image. As of now, GSI image has not been rolled out, so let's keep that aside. Apart from that, some users prefer to use the ADB side load method. The benefit with this method is that you could carry out the process on a locked bootloader as well. Yes, you do not require an unlocked bootloader while side loading the Android 14 build image. On the other hand, Android flash tool as well as password command requires an unlocked bootloader as well. So, why are we trying Android flash tool and not ADB side load? Well, there is a major cause of concern with ADB side load. Since your device bootloader is logged, so if you end up messing up any slight error, then you will you might not be able to unbreak your phone because the bootloader will be logged and there's no way out. On the other hand, if you try out via the Android flash tool or the password command, then you could easily unbreak your phone if something goes wrong by flashing the soft firmware. Likewise, I have seen a few reports wherein a user was stuck on the verifying side loading package while trying to side load Android 14. So therefore, I would recommend you to either go with Android Flash tool or the fastboot command. While it requires unlocking the bootloader, but the process is fail safe and near about safe. So on that note, this video will show you how to flash Android 14 by Android Flash tool. And my next video will show via the fastboot command. So let's get started. First and foremost, please take a backup of all the data on your phone. And keep in mind that the build I'm currently flashing is in the early stage. So you might witness a few bugs and issues. That is completely normal because the developer builds are usually have some bugs and issues so please keep that in mind and take a backup of all the data and then let's get started i have also linked this guide in the description you could check out this guide if you want so let's now start with the flash tool so in this regard your first course of action is to download and install the android sdk platform tools these are the official adb binary given by google and is required to execute adb command so download it from the link given in my guide and extract it on your pc in my case, I've done the extraction in eDrive. You could extract it anywhere you want. Once that is done, you will have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to execute ADB commands, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now enable both these toggles. For that, go to the settings menu on your phone. From settings menu, scroll to the bottom, go to about phone, and tap on build number seven times. This will enable developer option. Now go to system, developer option, and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. In my case, OEM unlocking is grayed out because I already unlocked the bootloader. Moving on, once you have enabled both these toggles, let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to the platform tools folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch the CMD window inside the platform tools folder directory as you could see. Now type in ADB devices and hit enter. You should now get a serial ID of your device. If you are not getting, so in my case, I'm not getting because I got a prompt. So you should get a RSA fingerprint prompt, type on allow, Again, tap on allow and now re-execute the command ADB devices. And as you could see, this time I'm getting a prompt. So if you are not getting a serial ID, then unplug and replug the USB cable from your device. Likewise, disable and re-enable USB debugging or tap on revoke USB debugging authorization. Likewise, use the official USB cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC, not the 3.0 port. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure you are getting a serial ID. Once you are getting this ID, you are good to go ahead. So next up, we'll now have to boot our phone to the passboot mode. For that, you just need to execute the command of adb reboot bootloader. So type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter. Your device will now boot to the passboot mode and after that, we'll be unlocking the bootloader. So the process will only take a few seconds. So let's wait for the time frame. And as you could see, our phone has now booted to fastboot mode. It's now time to unlock the bootloader. Do keep in mind that this process will wipe off all the data from your phone and might nullify the warranty as well. If that's well and good, then just type in password flashing unlock and hit enter. You will now get a prompt on your phone. So use the volume key to select unlock the bootloader and hit the power key to confirm. Your device will undergo a reset and the bootloader will be unlocked and it will then reboot back to the password mode as you could see in my case. So moreover, make sure that the device state is now showing us unlocked as you could see. This signifies that the process is now completed. Likewise, you should also verify the fastboot connection. So for that, type in fastboot devices and hit enter and make sure you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting a serial ID, 
then your PC might not be able to identify the device in fastboot mode and for that you will have to install the fastboot drivers as well. I have made a guide as well as a video on this. So you could check out my guide and video and make sure to install the fastboot drivers if you are not getting the serial ID. Likewise, right click on the windows icon, go to device manager and expand the android phone section. Within the android phone section, make sure your phone is listed as android bootloader interface. So if you are getting this and as well as you are having the serial ID, then your phone is in the fastboot mode and your windows 11 PC could interact with it. So if that's villain code, you could now move ahead and let's now boot that phone back to the OS. So you could either use the power key for that or simply execute the fastboot reboot command. So our phone is now booting to the OS and we have unlocked the bootloader and we could now proceed ahead to the next step and flash the Android 14 firmware. So let's now move to the next step. So let's wait for the device to boot up. If you have just unlocked a bootloader, then the first boot up might take up a few additional seconds. That is completely normal and nothing to worry about. So let's wait for the time frame and our phone is now booted to the OS. So now let's proceed ahead to the next step. Next up, you have to open the Android 14 flash tool link. This will take you to the flash.android.com website. And from here, we will now be using the Android flash tool. So you will get a prompt, tap on allow ADB access. And it will now bring up your phone. If your phone is not visible here or is showing as already in use, then it means that your phone is being used by any other program. So in that case, you have to kill the ADB server. For that, open the CMD window inside platform tools folder and type in ADB kill dash server and it will now kill the server. Once that is done, you should again verify the connection and unplug your phone from your PC. So let's do so right now and Let's now replug our phone back to the PC. So you will now get a USB prompt. So tap on allow. And this time around, as you could see, our phone is now showing us connected. So we could now proceed ahead. So select your phone from the list. And now you have to choose the target build number. In our case, it's the Android 14 version. So select Android 14 preview. At the time of recording, the DP1 is the latest version. So I'll be selecting that. And then click on the plus icon or rather the edit icon, pencil icon and make sure to check mark wipe device and port flash all partition these two are compulsory on the other hand the lock bootloader is optional and if you want you could keep it or in my case i will be unchecking it because i want an unlock bootloader on android 14 as well because it will be easier to downgrade later on so lock bootloader is optional but you have to check mark the rest of the two options once that is done click on install build and it will now show you all the results so please confirm it's correct the device name the build number and if everything's well and good, then click on confirm and you will now have to agree to the license. So click on I accept. So click on I accept and the flashing will now begin. It will first off start by downloading the firmware. You will get a prompt on your phone as well. So tap on allow and it will now start the process. It will automatically boot your phone to the fast boot mode as well as fast boot D mode. It will happen many times. You don't have to interact with your phone and let the tool do its job. As of now, you could see it's downloading the firmware. So let's wait while that is happening. The firmware size is usually around 2 to 3 GB depending on the on your device and the build number that you are downloading. So the firmware has not been downloaded. So let's wait for the time frame. You don't have to interact with your phone anytime during the process. A apart from just maybe one time if a pop-up comes on your phone, let me show you what I mean. Once the software has been downloaded, you might get a prompt on your PC to enable USB debugging. So you have to tap on allow that happens sometime as well, but that's not always. So let's now verify and wait for the time frame. So the downloading takes uh, while the downloading does not take too much time. It's a flashing that takes around 20, 25 minutes. So we'll skip that and directly show you the process of booting to the OS once it gets flashed. In the meantime, it's currently being downloaded. So let's wait for the time frame. And I have also linked this guide. You could refer to my guide anytime you want and check out the instruction from this guide as well. So we'll, apart from the all these four methods, we'll be using the Android Flash tool. And in my next video, I'll show you how to do so using the fastboot method. That is for the next video. As of now, we'll be using the Android Flash tool method because it automates the process. And as you could see, the flashing has now begun and it will now reboot your phone to the bootloader as well as to the fastboot mode. So the process has now started and it will now begin the flashing. The 
product partition takes a maximum time there are total 11 sub partition inside the product partition so that process will take up a few additional minutes so let's wait while that is happening and i'll fast forward the video so as you could see in my case it's currently booting into the fastboot d mode and the rest of the flashing will not take place in the fastboot d mode you don't have to interact interact with your phone the flash will be take care of all this process and let me show you my device is now booted to the fastboot d mode so it's currently booting up and it's now in the fastboot d mode and you don't have to carry out any task it will now flash the partition and this product partition takes around 20 minutes to flash so let's fast forward the video see the flashing has now been completed and i've got the install complete message likewise my phone is now booting to the os do keep in mind that the first boot up might take up a few additional seconds because it is setting up a device from scratch and our device has undergone a format and more importantly it's undergone a major os upgrade so the first boot up could take up to around 30 to 40 seconds or even a minute it's completely normal and nothing to worry about so let's wait while that is booting up and our phone is now accessing the os and you could see it's now booted up to the os so let me now set up my device i'll be skipping the initial setup process so that i could boot to the os and show you the status of my phone so it's currently setting up the device so it's the wi-fi let me set up offline and proceed ahead with the rest of the setup process let's skip that as well and let's skip this and so we are done with the initial setup process and our phone will now boot to the os as you could see it's now accessing the home screen the first boot up yes so it's now on the os and let me now show you the status so this is the android 14 build and currently you might not notice many ui changes but there have been a few under the hood changes and addition of some new features which you could get a hold of from my guide as well and there might be a few chances that some of the features might be removed and some more should could be added the best time to check this is when the beta builds are released as of now we are in the developer preview phase so there might not be a few additions but still let me show you the process let me go to the system and as you could see it's the upside down cake which is the code name of android 14 so guys with this we have installed the android 14 build onto our pixel phone using the android flash tool if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching